going to go back to talking about. Well, I just want to know, like, so when you, you, I like what you said, it's like, that's sort of scary. Like, you yeah. have no idea, because your idea, but so what comes to your mind, like, when you hear, you know what I mean? Like, what do you envision immediately? Like, what do you, like, yeah. in 2050, you think this is going to be? Here? I mean, I think that. Can you, um, just, is that wire? Oh, sure. Thank you. Wire today. Okay. Um, so what I'm imagining, you know, in 2050 is you're thinking that everything has a purpose, you know, like things are, even if it's there for beauty or if it's there serving utensils or any of those things would have a purpose, um, or multi-purpose, you know, so, but I'm still having a hard time. You're trying to think of colors and, you know, uh, I don't know. Like I just, it, it was, it was, it's very challenging to think of how would the year 2050 look so I decided that I'm going to go watch a whole bunch of sci-fi films. Which were made when, right? <laughs> exactly. <gasps> right, like you're 2050. I mean, I guess that's, like, he's pretty, like, well-known in the fashion world. He is. Like, this big network of innovators. He right? does. He so really so, like, is. Sort of what's at stake then for you guys as a company? Because you want to be that cutting-edge company. So it's like... I mean, and technology and science is a whole other ballgame. And especially when you're now merging art, fashion, technology, science. I mean, these are all these people who, you know, have these glorious creative minds and they um, are surrounded and all of his friends are going to be, you know, have that same sort of energy. So you, I want them to come to this party and feel as though, you know, we've achieved that same level and that we've inspired them. I mean, I think that's what Matthew likes to do, inspire people to keep creating, keep thinking about the future, keep designing. And um, if we can't pull off a party that represents Nuka and his brand, it would be, you know, terrible. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to nail it. Um, can we talk about your friend Janella? Yes, Chinoa. Yeah, Chinoa. And so tell me, like, can you set up that she's like a long-time friend of yours and you're going out to the suburbs to mm -hmm. like, visit her mm -hmm. to see what the newest renovation, like she renovated her house or something? Uh-huh. Um, so just like set that up. Okay. Um, so my friend Chinoa Maxwell has been, okay. So I've been friends with, okay, how do I start that? My friend. Like, I've been friends with Chinoa. Yeah. So my, fr I've been friends with Chinoa. Okay. Um, like you have a really good friend that lives in, like right outside the city. Right. You haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen her in a while. You yeah. haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. Like she's a super good friend. Like she's always like a good person to like. Yeah, I need to go get. Okay. Check in with her. And sure. Then, you know, she just renovated her house. It's like a good time to check her out. Okay. Um, so my dear friend Shanoa Maxwell um, lives a little bit outside the city, and she's just done some renovations. And I'm looking forward to driving out, going to see her, and just talking and catching up. And she's a great listener, so I think it's going to be really great. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Don't add her like it's going to be really great. Just right. like, who, how do you know her? Tell me how you know her. Um, how do I know? Oh, Shanoa, I met her in L.A. years ago. Um, yeah, I met her through a friend, and we just, we were fast friends, that's why. I don't know. So when was the last time you feel like you've been, I mean, this is sort of like the beginning of you, like, reclaiming you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I have a ton of friends who live in the city, but I never get to see them because I'm always working. Okay. So I have a ton of friends in the city, but I never get to see anybody because I'm always working. So my friend Shanoa was like, Jasmine, get your ass out here. I have this new gorgeous house. You haven't even seen it yet. So I'm looking forward to taking the drive, and I'm hoping that we can catch up. So when do you feel like you really haven't seen her? Like you don't have no, any No, I haven't seen any of my friends. For My best friend lives in New York City, and I still haven't seen her. Like, I have a number of good friends, and I talk to them on the phone as if I don't live in the city. It's ridiculous. So tell me about her house. Her house is ridiculous. 